Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your monitors, no matter your hardware. If you guys remember, in the top right corner over that way, I will link how to overclock your monitors for NVIDIA GPUs. I personally believe that it's easier because you don't need to restart your computer. However, for this method, it will work for NVIDIA GPUs. It, oh, I almost just flipped you guys off. It'll work for NVIDIA GPUs. It will work for AMD GPUs. It will work for laptop displays, NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, whatever. It'll work for everything because it's inside of Windows itself not inside the nvidia control panel like the previous video i'm on my laptop right now and uh if you guys want a video on how to um screen record your laptop screen using obs studio because a lot of people actually don't know how in fact i was in that same position back six months ago um but anyways uh yeah so this is my laptop screen uh you can see my battery icon down here and um if i go to system i only have one display connected advanced display settings it's there's only one internal display so uh, yeah, that's that, and um, yeah, without further ado guys, let's get right into the video, shall we? Alrighty, so first off, you're going to want to go into your Google Chrome or whatever browser you have, and you're going to want to search for Custom Resolution Utility. You're just going to want to search, uh, you can also search for Download File. File Horse is always easy. Nah, I don't want notifications. So just go to File Horse, click Start Download, and it's a really small file. As you can see, it's only 530 megabyte or kilobytes, and it downloaded instantly. And then you don't really need WinRAR, actually. A lot of people tell you you need WinRAR or 7-Zip. Windows actually has a built-in extracting tool, which a lot of people don't know about. WinRAR, you have to pay for 7-Zip. It's just clunky. Uh, but the Windows tool is really simple and easy. So, yeah. Then you can see that once you extract that and drag it to your desktop, you have this thing called CRU.exe. So you're just going to double click it. It requires administrator access. You guys can't see my screen, but uh, you, should, you, guys should be, you guys should be able to see my screen right now. And you're just going to, going to want to click on add and then just put in your refresh right here. And for instance, mine's 82 and uh, it's 82 hertz. And just click on OK. And then up here, you should see restart required. Um, I actually had to play around with it. It said restart required before I had to play around with it because there's an update to CRU that I was not aware of and it's actually not down here anymore. You want it to be up here. Um, but uh, yeah, now you're just going to click on OK. You're going to click on, well, you're not going to click on OBS and uh, I'm going to end the recording and I'll be back with you guys in about 30 seconds. Alrighty, and now that you've restarted your PC, uh, you should just be able to search up display settings. You know, or change brightness level, I guess that works too. Then you just want to go to advanced display settings, and then you're going to be at 60.3 hertz or whatever. Then you're going to just want to click on 82 hertz, your screen will go black, and then you're going to want to click on keep changes, and then boom. I, since I play on 165 hertz, I'm on my laptop right now, I actually have a PC right there. Since I play on 165 hertz, 60 hertz looks really laggy, and increasing that by over 25%, I, I definitely notice a difference. I can see one or two more cursors when I drag my cursor across the screen, but um, yeah, it's definitely smoother than 60 hertz. I will definitely be using this when I game on my Nitro 5 because why not? It's free refresh rate, right? But um, yeah, sorry about the camera angle for this. I'm kind of limited with what I can do because I'm using a C270, my old webcam for this one because I don't want to uncable manage my whole PC setup and frick with that. But um, yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I uh, hope you guys, hope it worked for you guys. If it did, please leave a like. If it didn't, uh, please also leave a like and comment down below. It didn't, and I will, yeah, I'll, you can join my Discord and I'll help you there. Uh, so yeah, uh, my Discord will be linked down below in the description. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.
I have an half, so I'm either gonna be good here or I'm not. That's really not good. I'm gonna try to save mats as much as I can. I think I made the right call. Because I could have tunneled, but not only am I bad at it, but also using a lot of materials, of which I don't have. Actually, I have quite a few materials. Never mind. I'm here, boy. Wow, since when can defaults do that, bruh? My shotgun didn't shoot. That's actually really unfortunate. Holy frick, dude. Can you not, please? Oh, shh. For the GGs. That. No, that's not good. That's really not good. Do -do -do -do. Nope, that's, that's even worse. How do I do this? I haven't done this in a while. Do I have time? Okay, there's a flap on that kid's body that I didn't pick up. Oh, I'm like fucked, dude. I didn't pick up the RPG either. Here's where it's going to get a little bit hairy. Okay, there's a guy right there. Oh shit, zone actually goes this way. Okay, I have no mats for this. This guy is dead in zone here in a sec. Please give me this kill. I need these mats, bro. No, build. Do or die. GG's. Okay. <laughs> I kind of tried there. <laughs>